Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today I've got a special one for you. So I was looking for my analytics and I saw that most of you guys who watch my content are American. Wait a minute! Did you see it? And I do know that I like to bash on the Americans for the good old banter. I'm Brits, you're Americans. At the end of the day, it's all good and fun. However, I feel like I bash a little bit too hard. So I thought I'd give you a treat. And today, we're going to be doing this. The Time Machine USA. Now, you guys might be asking me, Anglo, what is Time Machine USA? Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you. It's exactly as it sounds, okay? You take a time machine from today... And you take today's America back to 1936. However, it's it's a little different. <laughs> now, before we get into this, I just want to say, the last video that I uploaded, I said, you know what, this must be the craziest focus tree in all of Haughty 4. Um, yeah, I feel like I've stand corrected only one video later. That's not the case. I'm just going to put this out there. The modders are, are wild. <laughs> This video is bound to somebody off. Just take it in good heart. It's a game. It's a meme. Everything's for fun. Try not to get tilted. Let's look at the focus tree options. So as you can see, it's a it's a very big tree. You have many different ideologies. You know, you've got prayer victory of Joe Biden. Keep America great. Defend our nation. Oppose Trump. But then if we go further down, things start to get quite colorful. You know, Bernie's world, Elon Musk as a wholesome dictator. Where is it? Where is it? Bill Gates. There it is. Bill Gates as our leader. Then we go further over. We have the furry empire. It, the the fourth. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there. No, it does not stop there. We've got the kingdom of America with King Donald Trump. And we can have a coup with Baron. Or we can just go the normal way and just keep it fairly normal, I guess. But um, I'm going to go wild. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do with this one. Like, I did a little run of this off camera to see if the mod does actually work. I managed to create the furry empire. However, I feel like the furry empire and the Fiera as the, as the leader is just not good enough. So, what would do well with people? I don't know. Let's just go with King Trump, shall we? <laughs> I'm going to make so many, so many people angry. Again, the mod is in the description down below if you want to give this a try yourself. If I don't do the path that you want me to do, be sure to download the mod, give it a try yourself. But other than that, let's uh, let's start. Elections. It's it's election time. <laughs> right. Oh, and now with the election out of the way, we, we can now move on to our first focus, which is going to be crush the protest, which gets rid of Antifa. Um, after that, I have to go down this line here. Support white supremacy. Um, which is a bit on the nose, modders. <laughs> Can we word things a little nicer, please? Um, <laughs> uh, and then work our way down here to declare American superiority, the kingdom of America, and then maybe push for a barren coup. We'll see. We'll see how things roll. But there's another thing I want to show you. Uh, sorry, another two things. The first thing is here, my advisors. Um, so as you can see, these are my advisors. Um, and more and more become unlocked when uh, certain groups become friendly to you. Um, also, if you go down the route of Antifa and the Furries, if you unlock those groups, again, you get leaders and so on and so forth. Um, speaking of leaders, we also have our military leader. We have Donald Trump as our field marshal. And then our generals are Donald Trump Jr., Ted Cruz, Alex Jones. Good God, that's on the nose at the moment. Mike Pence and Tucker Carlson. This individual is an individual that I'm not familiar with. Maybe it's a very American thing. I do not know. Um, also, second thing. Again, referring to groups being friendly to you, there is this, the political situation. Uh, you can try and do your best here to do certain uh, decisions that will make certain groups friendly to you. As you know, the black community are hostile, and that gives us a, 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 a minus 10% recruitable population. However, after we go down the on-the-nose named path, it gets rid of the, uh, the, the black community. They become irrelevant, so we no longer get the buff uh, or the debuff. The centrists become hostile, and then uh, the neo-confederists become relevant. So that's the way this type of thing works. Um, there was something else I wanted to show you and I completely forgot about it. Ah, that was it. Yes, this. Uh, we now have the coronavirus. The coronavirus is in the game. Uh, I need to do a focus to unlock the 
option to get vaccines and I have to vaccine all of America which is a very long task if I remember correctly after my trial run yesterday um but it's not too bad it's not like a make or break thing um so yeah without further ado let's create a weird America that's weird okay so I've gone a little far into the mod now I've got rid of the last uh, groups of people who were hostile towards me so I can now focus or move down the focuses even further now uh but there's one thing that I need to cover one, I'm nearly done with the coronavirus. I literally just need a lot more vaccine packages and then I can start stabbing people with Rona uh, vaccines and everything will be fine. Um, another thing is, I was looking for generals earlier and unfortunately, because this focus gets rid of the black community um, as a positive or friendly group, we don't get them anymore. But as a general, you can get Kanye West. Kanye West as a tank general. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. What the f***? Also, another thing. So, you remember how I said that when you do focuses, you unlock different groups, this, that, and the other? So, once we complete this, one party state will be given new political advisors, new generals, and decisions under the Neo Confederates. Once we do the greatest president, we unlock gamers, people! That's right, Hoi 4 players are about to become. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this mod. This mod is nutty. Gamers rise up. <laughs> Gamers are finally here as a political group. They're friendly and they give 0.15 planning speed. And if we use our, vote, our decision of pro gamer moves, we get to vision attack the planning speed. This is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. I want to see what leaders they added for being. Uh, oh my god. No. <laughs> So we got PewDiePie as a theorist for Blitzkrieg. We've got no one here. Anyone else? No? Okay, no one else here. What about political advisors? David Duke is a grand wizard. No, he's under Neo Confederates. There's no one else here as a gamer. Okay, it just adds Pewdie. Okay, apparently Pewds, Pewds is our, our Blitzkrieg theorist, apparently. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> this mod is nuts! And another step into madness has been made. <laughs> we are now the monarchist party led by Donald Trump or Donald the First at the Kingdom of America. And we are now doing our first focus here. Approach the House of Wind Windsor and they're going to get the event. The Americans approach our royal family. Support British monarchism, all that fun stuff. A royal wedding. Uh, we're going to push down here. I'm thinking about going for the Baron coup. I don't know. Baron coup looks good. I mean, Baron is going to get political power, stability. And apparently Baron's an expert. So we get war support, justified war goal, and planning speed. I can't say no to that. That sounds absolutely cracking. So I feel like we're going to go down that, that road there. American Empire as well. Justify war time. Oh, lovely. Mexico. I'm coming for you. And now we can finally start building like a madman. Now that the whole of America is finally vaccinated, I can go here, click reduce the effects of the pandemic, and get 90% population back. Recruitable population, 25% back. Consumer goods, 40% uh, gone. Stability, minus 30, gone. Construction speed, minus 35, gone. Oh my god. However, I do get this though. The, the convertible aftermath. I didn't say that properly, did I? I'm chewing my words. Hold on, let me try that again. The coronavirus aftermath. There we go, more clear. And it only lasts for 350 days. So let's get that done. And uh, America's back in business, baby. We can go to War of Europe because we've got the Monarchist Restoration Front. And uh, we can basically just go after anyone to try and turn the Monarchist. I love this. <laughs> Bro, this, I can't. I, I, I want to say I'm not surprised anymore. But this mod does something to me. So as you can see right here, we have the International Nicaragua. Um, <laughs> what is this? What is this? Uh, Joachim Jong, yes, <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh my God. Okay, right. Uh, outside of uh, Kim Jong Un in disguise, um, we down here have also completed our restoration uh, focused restoration front. We've invited the remaining monarchist nations in the world, Romania and Britain, to our faction. But they're at war with Germany because Romania was already involved with Germany. But being so that's the odds, I don't think Germany are coming out on top of that. Hopefully we can we can start to make a move because this is just this it's taking a little bit long now. It's, it's taking a bit a little bit long. I want to build up and dominate the world with King Trump. And now it's time to go and pay Kim Jong Spanish a, a little visit. You see I decided to go to war because both Venezuela and Nicaragua both have focuses to come after me. And I thought, you know what, preemptive strike and all that magic. So I'm going to declare the war like so, call in my allies, 
Britain will enjoy a nice little invitation so I can send in my troops. I've got my air force on standby. I wish I had air support to that area. You know what? Actually, 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 actually. That doesn't help me at all, does it? <laughs> and small update time. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> it's 1940 now. About to go into 1941. I'm only just winning this war. Um, essentially what happened is the, 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 the North Korean Nicaraguans or whatever... Um, they decided to do a coup in Mexico, turn them communist. So I had to pull out of the south, come all the way back to the north and push all the way down. Whilst trying to build up my, my economy, whilst trying to build up my mill factories. I finally have mill factories. I finally have gear. Everything's looking gravy. Finish off this focus. Do the war preps in this so I can build mill factories quicker. And then we'll get onto the juicy stuff and save the world. Because the world kind of needs a lot of saving. And so it begins. The passing of the torch. Secure the Trump dynasty has been completed. And now it is time to do Baron's Coup. I'm not entirely sure how this one's going to go. I'm hoping it's not a coup coup. Um, and, and rather just he's taken over instead of... a. Donald Jr. But like it says here, Donald II is not a good leader like his father. He doesn't have charisma and he's really incompetent. However, Donald II has a brother who will be much better monarch than him. So he must support Baron Trump and prepare a coup against his brother. Hopefully this doesn't end in disaster. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> and it's finally done. Baron's coup has been completed and there we go. Sir Baron I, Baron Trump, is now king of all America, we now have our chief. Our chief of a chief, chief, is it, what, what do you call it? Commander in chief, that's what the Americans call it, right? Before we get on to China. <laughs> China, 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 China. We've got a royal wedding to do. Let's ring the wedding. Wait, hold on. The best way to secure an alliance with Britain is to prepare a royal wedding between Princess Elizabeth. Oh, Lizzie. Lizzie and Baron are about to get hitched. <laughs> do it. Okay, so uh, another time skip. This time it's 1943 and the world looks a lot different. Now let me tell you why. So basically, as I was doing that focus, uh, I kind of got dragged into World War everything. Um, literally, World War everything. Um, so we've currently got troops down here. I've currently got troops in Asia going through the Japanese islands. It's a bit of a struggle, but we're managing. Good old King Baron is doing fantastic. Um, I think it's now time to go through the focuses. So speaking of, I've done most of them off camera. I can't do this one and I, I deliberately saved China for last. Um, but I just want to discuss how messed up this is. So now that we're married to Princess Elizabeth, now Queen Elizabeth, we now have these. Secure the British crown. Assassinate her uncle. Assassinate her dad, making her queen of the country. And then unify the kingdoms. That's messed up. That's so messed up. I just, oh, okay, assassinate King Edward. I can't believe I'm doing this to my allies. I can't believe I'm doing this to Baron's father-in-law. Like, bro, what? There we go. That's one family member down. King uh, King Edward's out. Now King George is in. Let's go and put a bullet in his head. And, <laughs> and then we shall have Queen Elizabeth on the throne. Then I'll do Protect Canada, which should hand them over to me. And then I can do the integration, which gives me more building slots, more f uh, fuel, more territory. Overall, a damn good time. By the way, I'm just going to add this in as well. Um, I'm probably going to do another time skip. I'm gonna probably going to do another time skip until I've got the whole of North Africa under control, maybe a bit into Europe, um, and maybe after I've done a, a bit of this. Maybe once I get to prepare the unification. Like, I may have done most of the Japanese theater, but I don't want to waste your time, and this is going to be hella grindy. I wouldn't be surprised if I finished this in like 47. So, um, bear with me. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> So I told you guys that um, when I come back, it'll be when most of this war is over with because the game's most likely going to finish in 47. That was a lie. <laughs> it's 52 and this game has just dragged on beyond all belief. Um, I had to separate piece out Japan. I took China. I took all of this. I'm now going to finally finish this focus that I promised to uh, to. Um, I said ages ago I was going to do it, um, but I was going to wait for you. Secure the crown. So we're going to go over here. Now that she's on the throne of Britain, which basically doesn't exist anymore, because apparently in this patch, um, Britain's useless. Uh, prepare the unification of the kingdom. 100 political power. I have no manpower. In the meantime, oh my god, look at that lag. Look at that lag. As I was saying before, the lag just shocked me into oblivion. Um, I'm just going to try and take Germania, because after I've done this, I think it will be game over for the Germans. Um, I have managed to push them quite far. 
but the problem is they're not the only ones. I need to get rid of the Baltics, Hungary, and Bulgaria before I can end this war. Um, Bulgaria and Hungary look like they're on the way out anyway. Uh, Germany's just the tough cookie holding everything off. Oh, the grind fest continues. In other news, Britain has decided to become the puppet. There we go. Clicking great. Now, do we annex annex or do they just become a puppet? That's what I want to know. Is it going to turn into American Great Britain? No, it's not. It's just going to be Puppet of America. Okay, uh, that's fair enough. Okay, and then a United Empire, which will annex everything that the uh, that the Brits own. And it gives us stability and consumer goods. I'm not entirely sure what good that does us now. Uh, everything is essentially over with. But hey-ho, whatever. Hunky-dory. Now that's what I wanted to see. Okay, right. Now that the Germans have finished off, I just need to sort this whole thing out. Like Poland, am I fighting them? No, I'm not. That's great. Okay, where's my 150 stack? Rearrange the 150 stack. I need to rearrange this whole thing right now. And then I can finally get this over and done with. You do not understand how long this has dragged out. I have spent three and a half days doing this off camera because of how much of a slog fest it's been. Oh, I long for the day for it to be over. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now that I've finally taken Kaunas and all the other cities, um, I don't think I've got to go to Lipaya. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of the last one I need to cap, which is the Baltic Unitaries. Yeah, it looks like that, that seems to be the case. Right, let's tick over and let's do our peace treaty. Oh boy. <laughs> and just like that, the peace treaty is all over with Romania, Turkey, Austria. They all end up puppets. Because I have this, restore the uh, Russian Empire, restore the Ottoman Empire. I can't do this because I didn't get Hungary or Czechoslovakia in the peace deal for Austria. So Austria will just have to remain Austria, not Austria-Hungary. Uh, but I've now done this. The Sardom of Russia has been established as has the Ottoman Empire. Everything's looking gravy. We've restored order to the world. Germans also have this guy, Wagner, in charge. Luxembourg is looking pretty damn good. Um... I'm just going to hang fire. Before I end this episode, we need to wait until the United Empire has been accomplished. I want to wait until all focuses like that have been done. And then we can finally end this. But it is 1952. My god, my ticker isn't even going down a day. That's how slow this has been. Like, you do not understand. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, by accomplishing the focus to unite the empires, our flag. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me think Texas. I don't know why this is supposed to be like an American Union Jack. Nah, it just makes me think, you know, Texas, Dallas Cowboys, that type of thing. I don't understand why, but hey ho. But it's the United Empire of America and the British Isles. Oh, this is so cursed. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys that's going to be everything for this video i do hope you've enjoyed it did drag on until 52 and it takes so long for a day to pass um but i did most of the grinding off camera so you didn't have to suffer through it again sorry for the late upload i was planning to get this out on the friday but unfortunately it's had to come out on the sunday uh things did not go the way that i wanted to in any way shape or form um but again thanks for watching guys if you have enjoyed don't forget to of course like subscribe share the video with your friends i know it's a long shot but if we can somehow hit 3k by christmas i'll be doing cold war mod as a random nation uh, from 1947 to 2022. Who knows how that'll turn out, but hey-ho. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Anglo, you've been you. Have a good one, guys, and laters.